am with the President and Chairman of the Governing Council of the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Ixan, Mrs. Fumi Ekundayo, FCIS. Welcome, Madam. Thank you very much. Today was a very historic day for the Institute. We had the turning of the sword for the new Secretariat building. Congratulations, Madam, and can you tell us the significance of today's event in the history of the Institute? Thank you very much. Um, I'm very delighted and excited today, as you must see, and as you can see, uh, this is very historic. It's a very momentous occasion for us as an Institute. Um, you know, Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria is a foremost and leading professional body in Nigeria dedicated to promoting and enhancing the ethos of good governance. And if you're going to count about the top five, six professional institutes in Nigeria, you will be counting Ixan. And you'll find that a lot of these other institutes already have their own you know, befitting uh, building that hosts their national secretariat. We have something, but we believe it's not quite befitting enough. And you know, uh, successive governments and administrations uh, have worked very hard to make this happen. But you know, um, I am fortuitous to be, uh, and, and, and I'm humbled actually, to be doing this foundation laying ceremony today uh, during my time as the 29th president and chairman of council of the institute. It's a, it's a very memorable day for me. I feel very honored, I feel very humbled, and I'm grateful to God for this opportunity. So, you know, the importance of today's event is actually to now kickstart the commencement of a project. It's a symbolic way of saying, now we are ready, we are tilling the ground, and we're going to bring this place down and put up a befitting structure that would uh, house our national secretariat. So it's a very significant and symbolic day for us. It is indeed. Um, may I ask why it took the Institute so long to be able to take the bold decision and start this project? Okay, so like I said, successive administrations have also had this big dream to build you know, a befitting uh, headquarters for the secretariat of our institute. Uh, but, you know, we are a not-for-profit organization and we rely mostly on the uh, subscriptions from our members, you know, what the little income we get from training and uh, paid, you know, programs. And, you know, that is even barely enough to keep running our secretariat and keep, you know, the institute as a going concern. So, indeed, the economic factor has also contributed to why it has taken us this far. And let me say this very clearly, we are not commencing this because we have all the funds stashed up somewhere, right? But we're just taking the step of faith, believing that once we till the ground, once we start, you know, uh, partners and stakeholders of good will for the Institute will rise and also support uh, in this and of course our teaming members who also want to see this dream fulfilled would also rise to the occasion and come up in whatever ways they can in cash and kind you know providing human resources and uh, financial resources to make this dream a reality so we're really believing that uh, as we have taken the step of faith it's, it's, a, it's a very bold step but we believe that in the next couple of years, we should have completed this project by the grace of God. By the grace of God. Thank you very much. The Institute has come a long way and one of the major milestones is to have elected you as their first female president and chairman of council. Can you tell us other milestones the Institute has encountered? It is um, over 50 years of being in existence. Okay, so Iksan is about 58 years old and uh, there have been countless milestones in the life of the Institute. But I'll just wish to elaborate on a few and I mention just a few. So the Institute of Charter Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, as it is known today, actually commenced with about 35 members in 1944. And then around 19, 1966, the Institute formally emerged by you know, electing its first president. That was when we could say that the Institute really commenced fully, right? And then in 1968, uh, in 1966, you know, we had our first president and then sort of incorporated formally 
right? According to, I mean, in, in accordance with the Companies Act of 1968, then I think that, that was uh, that was in 1988, okay. actually, yes. So that was when we began the journey, and uh, there have been so many, you know, iconic uh, events in the life of the Institute. One would be, one that is really pungent is when we started our own examinations. As you would know, uh, we started as a full affiliated uh, version of the UK uh, body, uh, ICSA, that's Institute of Chartered Secretaries of Administrators, who are today known as uh, Governance uh, Institute of the UK. So in uh, 2011, we started our own indigenous examinations, and that was a real great milestone for the Institute because we were able to cut our umbilical cord from the UK body, right, and, and that has been significant for us. Also, if we're looking at uh, the, the, the milestones that is really related to what we're doing today, 1992 also stands out because that was the year that we erected the building we currently occupy on our permanent uh, site. In 2010, we also joined the global body, you know, as a, as a member body, that's the Corporate Secretaries International Association, which is a global voice for corporate governance across the globe. So 2010, we, we joined the body and we've been a strong member since then, right? Uh, like I said, we've had quite a number of, of, of significant milestones and today has also uh, gone into the history books as another day to be remembered in the annals of the history of the Institute. Thank you very much, Mama. On the last note, may I just ask, what is the estimated duration for the building of this new sector? Hmm. So I think I'd made a hint about that <laughs> and our projection is between two to three years. Uh, all things being equal, all resources being available. Of course, um, we're going to take it a step at a time, but definitely uh, our goal and our target is to complete the building within the next two to two and a half years, maximum three years. Thank you very much. I have been talking to the President and Chairman of Council of the Institute of Charter Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Ixan, Mrs. Fumi Ekundayo, FCIS. Thank you for having me.